How's it going, guys? So we're here on the Hapis map, and um, they have unsucked it, as their wording goes. And uh, they have... Ugh. Oh, I suck at the bow. Oh, he got white. Anyways, they have added uh, seven uh, handmade rad towns. Now, I really hope there's not radiation. Damn it, there is. Okay. We're gonna have to make it quick then. Well, here we've got our first one here. Uh, looks like we've got some dead folks. Um, and yeah, these are all handmade and they look gorgeous. Um, obviously, these are still prefabs, I think. Uh, the buildings themselves, um, as you can't get in and out of them. But, uh, definitely, definitely very cool. Um, we got water tower, cars, dumpsters, and such. I, I'm pretty sure someone just raided this, uh, considering there's a body here and a guy outside. So, hopefully we can get out of here, um, without this guy killing us here in a second. Or, or they both just died. Okay. And neither of them have anything that's going to save my life. Alright, well, um, I'll be back, guys, and we're going to keep trying to find all the other rad towns. There's seven of them, so hopefully I can showcase them all in this video. Alright, guys, so we've got another one coming up here. Uh, this one is a favorite uh, just because uh, it's an airport. Um, so, yeah. So you've got a runway here. And then a little road that comes off to it, and then the road connects up to it over there. And, uh, I don't know if this one has radiation now. It didn't originally. So we'll see. If there's not radiation, I'm gonna bet loot probably doesn't spawn here. Um, oh, I did get all my stuff back, by the way. I spawned super close. Oh, you can still pass through this building, so yeah, it looks like they haven't fixed that. And I wonder if you can pass through this still. Yep, you can. Interesting. Um, but yeah, they have this all set up like a little airport, you got the hangars, there's I guess like a little warehouse or office, and then there's a little like, place to park cars. Um, there used to be a storage container across the way over there, but it had snow on it, so I think maybe that's why they got rid of that. Um, but yeah, really cool, um, you've got the nice air stretch here, uh, it just makes me think of, uh, when they do add flying, uh, vehicles or aircraft into this game. Uh, be very interesting to see. Uh, when that comes uh, one way down the line. And for all of you who doubt that, or are like, oh no, I don't want to see that, well, it's on the mind map under definitely. So it's happening, one way or another. <clears throat> so, uh, along with actual vehicles and boats. So, yeah. Uh, just check out the mind... <clears throat> I can't talk. The mind map, um, there's uh, rideables, like horses, and then uh, vehicles, boats, and uh, airplanes. So, yeah. I'm sure that includes, like, helicopters. I don't know if that means full-size helicopter, or what I think would be much more appropriate, a gyrocopter. Uh, kind of like the one in Far Cry 4, if you guys have seen that. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're going to just uh, continue along in line and see if we can find the other five rad towns. Uh, I can't believe there's five more on this map somewhere. Alright, so uh, not too far from the airport to the left, there's this little road that went off, and uh, I was like, ah, you know, it's going towards the ocean, it's got to be going to something interesting. And sure enough, it's going to the lighthouse, uh, obviously we can't get into it because currently right now it is flying. Um, so yeah. <laughs> but anyways, figured I'd uh, show you guys that. Oh, so... Trying to kill this de- um... Yeah, well, <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> Bad news, I wasted three arrows. Oh well. So anyways, uh, we'll be back uh, once we got uh, some more. Alright guys, so we have come across another one of the towns. This is one of the bigger ones, I believe. And, oh, there's the radiation. I wasn't sure if it was going to creep up on us, but uh, it's got, like, this mountain dig out, uh, which is super cool. We got all that there. There's this car, and whoa, there's some lag. Uh, you got, like, pipelines coming out of this factory. There's lamps illuminating everything, um, which I thought was really cool. So we got this. Uh, Gary said the lamps may stay or may not. Um, here you can see a much better use of this uh, 
little over under walkway thing and um yeah see this is uh i think it's they must be like a fallout bunker or maybe they're meant to make this look buried i don't know but here you've got like um venting and stuff for it um so yeah all together very cool uh well done um we have so much rads we need to get out of here but um because i really don't want to die but yeah definitely super cool looking um Definitely looking forward to uh, seeing the rest of the ones. Alright guys, so we didn't make it. We died. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's just so far away from where we are. It's nighttime. I think I'm going to call it here. But uh, that's a look at half the Rad Towns. Um, I figure why not just leave some of the other ones as a surprise anyways. Uh, the satellite dish one that I didn't show, um, well didn't get to, is up in the snow kind of. Um, will probably be the thumbnail for this video. Um, of course, there's pictures everywhere already by now. So, uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the look at that. Um, so far, as far as we know, the candle hat has been fully implemented. Um, it is a blueprint, so I can't show it to you guys. Uh, it does illuminate a pretty decent amount around you, and it does have a durability, uh, so it will run out, and uh, you'll have to repair it. Uh, in a bench you cannot like refill it as of right now uh, one thing that's neat is you can click on it and you can hit ignite on it um, which is a new function uh, rather than pressing E on a placed item or such so that, that's kind of a new thing I thought was pretty cool uh, anyways guys I hope you enjoyed um, this quick look at what's coming new uh, for the server we may give this map a little bit of a wait I'm still noticing resources are very very scarce there's a floating lighthouse, there's other stuff, so we may wait until the mandatory wipe to switch to this map. Uh, if you guys want to see it sooner, we could switch it to this week, which means we might have to wipe next week as well, though. So I, I think a lot of people are kind of enjoying the long one month um, before wipes. So uh, anyways, in the comments below, sound off, let me know what you think about that. Alright, so I actually uh, jumped on Fado's, um, well not Fado's server, but one of the servers he's admin on, and... Uh, he was kind enough to give us some uh, wolf meat and a sexy candle hat. So let's bring up the candle hat. Pretty awesome. And uh, you can extinguish and ignite it, like I said. Um, and I figure I just kind of like show off this uh, rad town in a little more detail now that I'm not fearing for my life entirely of uh, dying every 10 seconds since I've got like a billion wolf meat here. Um, not exactly seeing where any of the loot containers are, though. Huh. Yeah, nothing there. But, I mean, I just like the detail they're putting into this. I can't wait until these buildings are actually something we can get into. Uh, it'll be definitely really cool. It's got pipes lying around and stuff. And I got some barrels in here. Water tower. Oh, it's a ladder! There's ladders in Rust now. <laughs> yeah, not quite, though. Not quite. But yeah, definitely uh, really cool. Um, but uh, I'll be back as soon as we uh, find some of the other ones. We're not in any particular rad town, but I just wanted to note like how beautiful the snow is. You've got the electrical towers. There's oh, a bear. There's the crystals. And they kind of have that ice fume coming off of them. Like uh, they, They've just done a beautiful, beautiful job with this. Um, so I guess one of the other ones is this, um, which, I mean, I, it, unless these doors open somehow, I, I, uh, I, that's about it. So, yeah, uh, the hole to nowhere, I guess. But, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, cool looking. Uh, hopefully eventually we can get in there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the satellite dish is not too far off here. Alright, guys, so we are coming up on the satellite dish which I think is one of the bigger rad towns um so we're gonna go check this one out I'm not sure if it has radiation yet I really hope it doesn't we shall see ah oh, no rads sweet you don't have to die a terrible death um, but pretty much if you're on the map you can get to all of these by running around the road pretty much everything's off the road um, so, that's not too bad. Uh, there's supposed to be loot uh, that spawns up here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Bala! 
I can make medical syringes now. Super amazing. I wonder if they uh, bothered to put anything up the floor. Let's see. Let's see. There's that little spot up here that would be perfect for talking away a loot crate. Nope. Nope, nope. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this uh, rad town here. So we've got a, uh, looks like partially snowed in building. Uh, staircase to nowhere on there, but that could be a vantage point if you're uh, hanging out in this rad town. I got another loot crate right here. Let's see. Oh, wow. Just learned C4 blueprint. Uh, you gotta love that. What are the odds of that one? And, uh, bow. Okay. We've got an AK from an airdrop, but hey, you know, bow. When you run out of them bullets, you can make the arrows. See if there's anything special back behind here. Oh, there's a look like uh, gas tanks and stuff. Another collapsed part of a wall, which is cool looking. We got another loot crate back here. Ooh, we can now make large wooden signs. Ooh, fancy. So, yeah, that's uh, definitely really cool. Um, they've done a really good job with all of this. And uh, I think this is the last rad town, so uh, I'm going to cut it here and say thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoy checking out the new stuff with me uh go jump on a dev server and check it out for yourself uh don't forget to lick that like button and we will see you next time